So when it comes to gaming laptops, they're a bunch out there, but portability is something that I really like. Now, a lot of gaming laptops are just not portable, except for something like the Razer Stealth 13 with the GTX 1650. The reason I like this laptop is that Razer has finally included a dedicated GPU on a gaming laptop that's only three pounds. Now think about it this way. This is a 13.3 inch laptop uh, that has some really good performance backed into it. Now what do you have in terms of specs and all that stuff, especially the configuration I have here, is something that comes with a 13.3 inch display. It's a 1080p display instead of a, you can also get a 4K display, but I think the 1080p display is fine. Uh, you've got a really nice keyboard. Of course, you've got, you know, your backlit keyboard there as well. Uh, now, its performance is powered by, of course, the 10th gen Intel processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage. That's the first part that I wanna talk about. The fact that Razer still lets you customize and change your uh, storage solution is truly impeccable. You can go in, you can swap your um, hard drive, and you're good to go. Uh, whether you wanna clone it, whether you want to actually just reinstall Windows, you can do that on this machine. I like that I can do that and it makes it easy for me to upgrade. So this solution here costs 7, uh, 1799 for 512. I can go to a terabyte or two terabytes hard drive. I use Seagate hard drives here. Uh, you can check it out if you wanna pick up one. But again, you can actually expand. Now, in terms of ports, this actually has a lot of viable and useful ports. There's a headphone jack on the left-hand side. There's USB Type-C A, and there's also the USB Type-C. And then on the right-hand side, you've got another USB Type-C A, um, and then you've got a USB Type-C with Thunderbolt as well. So you've got that Thunderbolt connectivity, uh, so you can use, uh, say, an external uh, graphics card or whatever you wanna do with this configuration. But speaking about the inbuilt graphics card, it's a GTX 1650. This thing uh, really, really performs. This is where I really like using this laptop, especially gaming. I've been on the road for uh, at least a couple of weeks traveling and got to use it to edit, which of course that's what I do on a daily basis, but to also game. I've been playing some Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare and performance has been great. Yes, it's 1080p display, uh, move, move, putting the performance at its highest levels. You're getting between 73 to 90 frames per second, uh, playing Call of Duty Mobile multiplayer. Uh, single player, you can get, of course, a little higher frame rates there. But the performance has just been so smooth, I just haven't noticed that it's been great to actually game on this laptop. I've got a 13-inch laptop that doesn't weigh that much that I can throw in my backpack and I can game on it. I like those things. I think I like that altogether. Some nice speakers so you can hear the sound coming from there. Now here's the funny thing. Once you're actually going to play a game, it signs you out of your console if your console's on and it basically signs you in here. So moving your Xbox from your console to here, right? Now, they have to retake those objectives. UAV overhead. We're taking Alpha. Oh, wow. Alpha secure. And uh, in terms of thermals, my gameplay sessions playing Call of Duty never went past 109 degrees, so I do like that about it. It does have a loud fan, not too loud, but it's loud enough that you can hear it, so it's best using a gaming headset with this because it will impede with some of the sound from the speakers as well. But performance is where this is key. Now this comes with a 100 watt uh, charger, so it's a massive charger in here, but to give you enough power to drive that graphics card, that's actually the bigger, the thing that I don't like, I don't like the size of the charging brick. Um, you know, look, this is something that I would like to see PC manufacturers get better with, is getting better designs for the charging brick so it looks and feels more portable, especially when you travel. I feel like the charger is bigger 
than this 13 inch laptop uh, that's just for me uh, my mind uh, but in terms of battery performance when you're watching video or or you're browsing the web you can do close to about 10 hours in this bad boy uh, and gaming performance is really nice uh, again you're plugging it in if you're going to take full advantage of this gaming performance uh, but I like its very small footprint so if you're in a coffee shop or you're in an Airbnb, you're traveling, you can really just have that small footprint, get yourself gaming, and you're good to go. So for me, this is probably my best gaming laptop of this year. I haven't covered a lot. Um, I like the original Stealth. Uh, I, and then I said I wished it had a dedicated GPU. We finally have a dedicated GPU. The thermals have been good. Uh, performance is really solid. Uh, I'm sure the 4K version, of course, will give you a battery hit, but I liked what I saw at 1080p with this. Uh, I enjoyed working with it, editing on the other road, and I think this is something you guys will like. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Razer Blade Stealth 13 with the GTX 1650, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.